What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to make a cartoon head using your mouse only. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do is drag and drop the picture you're gonna be using. So when you do that, just hold shift and grab the corners so we can bring the size up. Okay. And you wanna make it pretty big too because it's hard to control your mouse. So the bigger your, your picture you're tracing, to make your job a lot more easier. Okay, let's drop the opacity down some. About right there. Let's lock that layer. Create us a new layer right above it. Now you want to come over here to the polygon tool. Make sure the bottom color is locked and your top color is black. Okay. Hold shift to make it even. Okay, after you do that, you want to, um, let me see, I think it's, yeah, alt. Hold alt now and grab this little corner. Okay, let's move it up so I'm about right there. Now we gonna drag this down, just pull it on down. Like by right, all right. Let's see, just a little tad more, all right there. Okay, this line we just created is going to be our brush. So what you want to do, you want to highlight it. Let's go to new brush. Then you want to go to art brush. And you want to hit OK. You want to hit OK again. And there it go right there in our brush layers. Now we can come over here to our paint brush. And that's the brush we just created. You feel me? Let's go to brush size, the stroke size. And let's bring it down some. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what you want to do, you want to come over here and move your smoothness up about right there. Now let's zoom in. And the method we gonna use to pull this off is overshooting our lines. Okay, that's a nice little. I want to make it smaller than that. Let's go a little smaller. Let's go to a 0 0.25. Okay. And also, let me try to move this smoothness all the way up. Let's try to see what type of effect we get. Okay. Try this line one more time. Okay, that's pretty good. And we just gonna go through. Hold control and the minus button to zoom out. And we just gonna overshoot these lines. I'm using my mouse too, guys. I promise you. We're overshooting these lines. Pretty decent with this mouse.
All right, let's clean up some of these lines, man. So let's highlight everything we just created. Let's go to object, expand appearance, and then we're gonna go to our pathfinder. That's in your windows tab. And on your pathfinder, you wanna hit divide. After you hit divide, you wanna come to this white selection tool, and we're gonna delete the lines that's crossing over by tapping delete twice. Okay, delete that. And every line that we, that's crossing the line that we don't want, we're gonna get rid of it. So it's gonna look like we just got some smooth looking line work. You feel me? All right, delete all this. Let's zoom in. You know what, I'm gonna delete this too, I don't need that. Let me zoom in closer. That was so dope about that. Um, That divide tool on your Pathfinder. That's it really made these lines look like they was created with a digital art tablet, you feel me? Just a method. Let me see how it's looking so far. Okay. It's coming together. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth it. Need this. Oh yeah, I almost forgot this line. Now let's see what we looking like. Now pretty much, y'all should get the concept of how we gonna make this picture look like a masterpiece. Let me um go back to my brush tool. And it's at a one point. We might make that line a little smaller, but we gonna see. Let's do the outline of the face. Okay. Let's try to bring this over. Hopefully we can make it go into that next line. Smooth. did it just like that a little nice little look at it real quick all right zoom into this ear and we gonna um let's try to do it steady hand steady hand gotta have a steady hand all right we're gonna overshoot this line yeah, okay, perfect. Let's um gonna start the line right here. I'm gonna go right there. The eyebrows. Let's bring this line. Let's bring it on through. Stop it right there. See what we looking like. I like to step back a lot when I'm drawing. All right, it's looking clean. It's coming together. All right, let's go and finish this. And the head out. again let's go get the teeth okay so it's like that then it's oh, wait 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 okay bring this over then we got 
this one going like this. Okay, cool. Detail of this ear by coming up, I'm bringing this over right there, bringing this line over like this. But like I said, y'all, it's time consuming. But if you ain't got no digital art tablet. It's all worth it. Trust me. Circle two. I'm tripping. Let's just bring it this way. Let's uh, make the size of it a little bigger. Let's hold all so we can make it 3D. Cool. All right, now let's go back through and clean these lines up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight everything. We're gonna go to object, expand appearance. We're gonna go back to object and do it again because when we made this circle tool, we used the symbol. So to turn that symbol into the line work, you gotta do it twice. You gotta go back to object, and then you gotta hit expand and hit okay. Now I just turned that symbol into a regular line. And then you hit divide. Go to your white selection tool, and let's go on. clean them lines up. We always shot delete twice. these eyebrows so we're gonna come make our brush as small as we can get it I don't know why my jump's still going big hold up let me go to okay there we go right here go to object expand click divide go to my white selection tool and we're gonna delete these lines we all over shot right here Let me 
see what we looking like. Okay, okay. I'm gonna come with a um. Let's come with a thick line. Start right here. Bring it on, cross. Let that line, let's bring it down some to a 0.75, just so that top line will be, I'm gonna move it up some to probably right there. 0 0.25, yeah. Nice and sharp. All right. Let's go to our uh, pencil tool. Make sure your settings on your pencil tool look exactly like you see here. And let's move this smoothness all the way up. Hit OK. Make sure your color black is on top and your bottom one is locked. Let's go ahead and fill this in. Y'all see, I got a steady hand with my mouse. Uh-oh. I need to move that smoothness down. So I'm going to hit Control-Z to delete that. Because it's correcting it too much. We don't want it to correct it too much. Alright. Cool. Call all this in. Like that. Like you have there. All right, come on this side. Fill all this in. Like you see. I'm gonna do I'm gonna create this shadow right here. And notice how I'm gonna do this. I'm overshooting my line, right? Y'all notice how I overshot my line. I'm gonna highlight this. Go to object, expand, click divide, go to my white selection tool, and delete that. So I can have that shadow on that side of that nose. Like that. You feel me? You feel me? Alright. Let me um bring this. I wanna have this shadow come right here. Bring it like that. I overshot my line again. Select all this, go to object, expand, hit divide on your pathfinder, and we're going to delete this with the white selection tool. You know what I'm saying? So, let me zoom in real quick. We got everything looking. Again, super nice. Let me close this little area. Curve that like that. Kind of this side do the same thing. crease right here I made that go a little lower I'll 
also make these eyelashes drip down a little lower so they can have a little thickness to them. Same thing on this side. All right, we in the game. Let me go back one, one more time. Hold all this together. Go to object. Click merge on our Pathfinder. Let's make a copy of the line word. Lock the top copy. Make sure you got the second copy selected. And I'm gonna go to my swatches. Let's import the Chi World skin tones. If you would like to buy this skin tone pack, the link will be in the description below. So let me go find it on my desktop. And this is how you import it for the, those who's going to buy this skin tone pack of mine. What you want to do, you want to come to swatches, right? And then you want to go to swatch library menu. Then you want to go to other library. And wherever you got it saved on your desktop, you just want to go look for it. And let me go find it on my desktop real quick. And it's right here. Chi World Skin Tones. And you just double click it and it's going to pop up in your, your Adobe Illustrator. So now, let's start coloring this character, man. Let's go to the rectangle tool. Make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. Drag that color over the entire picture. Then you want to right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. Then you want to highlight it all again and click merge so the color can become one with the line work. After you do that, you want to right click the color, go to isolate, select the group. And we're going to delete this outer color like that. Let's hold shift and select this inner eye area. And then we're going to select white. Make that white, you feel me? Then we're going to once again make this white. Change her lip color like this. I'm telling you, man, this skin tone pack gonna come in handy. Make you move faster too. You see how quick I'm finding these colors. Hold this. Make my eyes dark. earrings make that white make this part gold boom and let's do this let's uh hit this drop down menu on the color layer we just created you want to stroll down to your last black line work and we just gonna lock the black lines. Keep the top two unlocked and close it. Create a copy of the color layer. Lock the bottom copy and turn the eye off. Go to the one in the middle. Go to your white selection tool. And we only gonna delete the skin tone out of this layer. Keep everything else. Just delete the skin tone. Like that. Do this. Okay. Boom. Now that we got that deleted, we're gonna bring this bottom layer back, turn the eye back on, and we're gonna create a new layer in between these two. And it's gonna be our shadow layer. So now let's go back to our pencil tool and let's draw some shadows 
Okay, let me, um, we'll start right here. And this is my favorite, y'all already know. This is my favorite part. Keep a steady hand. First shadow knocked down. Let it go, let it go. Select those colors we just made. Let's see how that looks darker. No, it's too dark. We'll just leave it right there for now. Let's create a new layer right underneath that one. And let's go a little lighter with our tones. Thank you. 
There you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon head using your mouse only. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up on the bottom of this video. Make sure y'all leave in the comment section some video requests that y'all would like to see next. Make sure you stay tuned. Mohi coming soon and I'm out this thing.